Y'all, I'm not gonna lie. I'm sick. I don't know what's wrong with my stomach, but this is the hottest bubbling I didn't ever felt. And I'm about to tell y'all something that will probably have you never look at me the same again. I can't even look at myself no more. <laughs> I boo booed on myself. Oh! Yes. So if you want to leave this video and click on a different one, I'm not even going to be mad at you because I can't look at myself either right now after what I just did. Y'all didn't see it, but y'all heard it. Mark today the date. It's February 13th, 2024. That's the day. I went from man to little boy. Where are my diapers? I don't even know how that happened. My stomach was hurting last night and I was like, oh, maybe I need to sleep it off. Woke up this morning feeling good. Say, ah, ooh, good thing that stomach pain went away. Time to record. I'm brushing my teeth, getting ready like it's a normal day. And, you know, I thought it was just a morning fart. I said, oh, let me squeeze this out real quick. <clears throat> it wasn't a fart. Wow. Anyway, what's going on YouTube? Today we're reacting to Wild Teenager Fights Mom on Dr. Phil. My stomach hurts so bad I can't even think about fighting my mom, period. That belt is spawning in her head so fast and just connect with my booty with the most utmost uh, velocity. And I don't know what's gonna come out. Bruh. So we're gonna get into this video and see what's wrong with this teenager. So let's get into it. Let's go. I consider myself a rebel. I don't listen. I don't respect people. I could care less about what any authority has to say to me. All right, ladies and gentlemen, how's it going today? It's your favorite Mexican raincoat here. Hope you're all doing <laughs> well today. I'm not doing too bad myself. Today, we're going to be taking a look at some more uh, Dr. Phil, our boy, our guy, all right? Now, if you guys are familiar with the Catch Me Outside girl, you know, that girl that blew up like yeah. three years ago or whatever and ended up making a rap career off it. I feel like we found another Danielle Brigoli, okay? This person resembles a lot of traits from her. So uh, yeah, without further ado, I'm not going to waste more of your time. Let's just watch this. I consider myself a rebel. I don't listen. I don't respect people. I could care less about what any authority has to say to me. I do what I want when I want. All right, Dakota. Yeah, yeah, that's why. That's what the problem is. She do what she want when she want. Well, mama with that belt. Oh. I'm not the one. She needs a whooping. I know whooping when it's well deserved and when it's needed. She need one. Sitting here talking about I don't respect authority. I don't do all this. Yeah, because you ain't never faced authority. Face this belt. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Come on now. Booty gone, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Get for one week with my mama. She ain't gonna come back the same. But, uh, looks like we have a, another savage here on the Dr. Phil show, you know? Dr. Phil always bringing in the savages. Kind of scared of this girl. I'm not gonna lie. She looks like she'd, uh, I don't know what she'd do. I, I can't think of anything. Okay, wait a second, bro. I forgot to show you something. Smoke cigarettes? Dr. Phil is actually a professional TikToker. He's an active user on TikTok for some reason. Look at this. What the heck? Got me posted at a red light. Take a step. My guy's vibing right now, dude. I'm about to go get tatted tonight. I smoke marijuana. Oh, fuck, dude. That makes you so cool, bro. Smoking. If you don't smoke marijuana, dude, you're a loser. Yeah, I don't know why people like say they smoke and think it's like super cool. Like, wow, bro, you're damaging your lungs. Exactly. Great. Like, congratulations. Your lungs are gone. You're not going to be able to run past the age of 20. Congratulations. Woo. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was at work the other day, and these dudes were flexing a cigarette on Snapchat. I ain't never seen nothing like that in my life. And, like, it's one thing to smoke and be like, cool, I think I'm cool. But they're flexing an unlit cigarette on Snapchat in his mouth. It wasn't even lit. He was in there like this. <laughs> Ooh, what's up, y'all? Come on, bro. Like, in my head, I was thinking, he can't think he's cool. Like, he didn't get no cool points for that. Every single day. I sneak out all the time, past curfew. Over the summer, I told my mom that I was going to the lake with my friend. I ended up getting on a flight by myself to New York City. <laughs> what? God damn, bro, their parents probably were like, what the fuck? Straight up, imagine <laughs> just like thinking that your daughter is gonna go to a lake for a weekend and then boom, she goes to New York. Like, damn dude, that is, uh, I would not trust my kid if they did that. For three days. My mom was upset, but honestly, 
I don't regret going. I mean, New York is pretty cool, but I've never been went with your parents or something. I don't know. You didn't have to sneak behind her back to take an entire flight to New York like that. It wasn't necessary. I have been in trouble with the law. I pulled a fire alarm when I was in the eighth grade on April Fools because I thought it was gonna be funny. I'm all no for you know, April Fools jokes. They're great. You know, it, it's the reason why the day exists. But pulling a fire alarm, bro, that's like stuff that like second graders find funny, dude. What's funny about that? Is she's and she's in eighth grade, bro. I wish you would do that. It's February, bro. It's negative five degrees outside. I'm in this classroom and we hear the fire alarm. <laughs> Everybody outside, it might be a real fire. We get to run outside, no coat, no nothing. Can't grab nothing. We just outside in the cold waiting while the ambulance come. And she's sitting outside talking about, <laughs> I pulled it what? with the ink on her hand. Because you know it's spray ink when you pull it. I, I, like, I would have punched her. I'm not going to lie. It's freezing. It's freezing. Yeah, you may not be affected by the cold, but I am. Come on, bro. I don't know. I'm just, I, I'm putting myself in a situation. I would have been mad. Fire department showing up to your school and everybody having to evacuate outside. Like, what's what's fun about that, bro? That usually I hated those. Whenever we'd have to do a fire drill or whatever, that shit was annoying. Man. I was put on house arrest for three months. Dang. Started my freshman year of high school with an ankle bracelet on my leg. Damn, she was on house arrest freshman year of high school, dude. I have some freshmen probably watching this video right now, dude. You probably feel good about yourself right now, huh? You don't got an ankle bracelet like this person does. God damn, dude. The worst that ever happened to me was getting suspended in high school like i had nothing <laughs> else happened i've actually i've gotten a speeding ticket and i've gotten a reckless driving charge but i explained that in a video of mine okay i was doing donuts in an empty parking lot i did not deserve reckless driving i wasn't gonna hit anybody At least i, I never don't got have any of this i currently have charges pending you were out till 2 a.m you refused to get up and go to school you want no, to I don't. My mom is always on my ass. I mean, Dakota, listen, listen, okay? You're, you're That's what she's supposed to do. That's what she's supposed to do. And the mom's not doing a good job. You talking about she's on your case. No, she's not. You won't get up for school, boy. I, like, I will drag you to school. Like, huh? literally forcefully pick you up and put you in the car and then throw you to the school doors. I bet you don't act a fool in front of your friends. And if you leave school today... We gonna put you in boarding school or something. You gonna have to do something. You gonna be disciplined, trust me. It's not just gonna be sunshine and rainbows for you. You don't wanna go to school. Oh, I guess I can't make you. Uh, I'm gonna make you. I'm gonna make you do all this, bro. See, uh, 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 uh. I don't understand how kids get away with this. I'm not gonna lie. I, I think I, I'm putting some of the blame on her mama, but this kid is acting up just just cause. Like, she, like she, she didn't have a bad life. You know what I'm saying? Her father may not be there, but you know what I'm saying? How many fathers not there? So I'm just gonna throw that out the window. Um, you 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 got everything you want. You never missed a birthday present. Never missed nothing. You just you just want to act up because you want to act up. You want attention. Go find your attention somewhere else, bro. Cause I ain't got it for you. Wow. You have an ankle monitor. You are on house arrest. No shit, your mom's gonna be on your ass. Some people seriously just don't understand the fact that consequences exist. Okay, you know, if you do something bad, you're gonna face the consequences eventually. I mean, shit. Maybe you can get away with it, but that's just the mindset I have. You know, I want to stay genuine and not get myself in trouble. It's just how it is. Mind my business. Off to the house, like Queen Bee or something. Dakota, did you buy the house? She did pays the bills. It. Of course, she's. Queen. Queen bee. She tries to control everybody like we're her peasants in her castle. I've had enough disrespect. I've had enough disrespect for the day. Dakota was probably asked by the producers, hey, get the meanest clip of your mom. And this was the clip that she found. Her mom <laughs> just saying that she's had enough disrespect for the day. She's stressed out. Like, come on. You can easily tell who's in the wrong here. And it's yeah. definitely the kid. The kid's just out of control. Taking flights uh, just out of nowhere. I've never heard of like a kid doing that, dude. That's next. And how old is she getting? Well, she's 15, 16. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. She ignorant. She ignorant, dude. And first of all, I'm gonna keep blaming the mom too. Does anybody else not pick up on this? The mom believed she was going to a lake. Bruh. And even if she was going to the lake, the mom let her. All these problems you have with your daughter, she won't go to school, she won't do this, she on house arrest. Oh, oh, she can't go nowhere no more. I'm not gonna lie. She's a full lockdown. She's on full lockdown. You gotta be home by 7 p.m. before the street lights come off. You gotta you can't leave. You gotta go home right after school. Ain't no hanging out with your friends. You gotta do all this. Nah. Uh-uh. And you got the nerve to say, oh, you can go hang out with your friends at the lake by yourself. I trust you. You seem like a, a smart kid. Come on, what? No, she don't make good decisions. Level. Imagine taking a flight behind your parents' back. 
When she gets in my face, I usually spit in her face. God damn, bro, that is disgusting. Don't do that. This summer, my friends and I got pulled over and I had to be taken home in a cop car. My mom was furious. I was kicking and screaming and I kicked the hole in the Okay, let me just run this down. You got arrested already, you know, a terrible night. You go home and you kick a hole in your wall. Straight Ignorant. up destructive behavior, dude. You're, you're solving nothing. Nothing by doing that. Like, what was the point? That's whole ass drywall and paint just ruined, you know, for the house, the home property. These are just the levels I focus on when I. <laughs> and I'm on the same levels with you, my guy. <laughs> you don't pay a bill in this house. You don't have money to buy your own clothes. You don't have money to buy soap to wash your own booty. Oh! But you got money to kick a hole in my wall? I don't think so. I'm not gonna lie. You're gonna fix this. You're gonna go to several years of handyman school. What? And you're gonna come back and fix my wall, bro. I'm not playing for the free ski too, for free. Y'all bro, what is she talking about? Came home, she mad at me because she got in trouble. No, why were you out there at nighttime? I told you to come home. Why were you hanging out with the wrong people? Like, you're not a thug, you're not a criminal. Why are you hanging out with them? You're a wannabe. I look at these types of situations. I don't know, dude. This is just ugly. When I was like hitting her in the face, I don't have remorse for anything I've done. I'm not perfect. Yeah, yeah, we know. We know. We are very well aware of this. And I don't want to be perfect. Nobody told you to be perfect. Everybody's just trying to tell you to behave. You're acting like a crazy maniac, dude. You understand. Yes, I do. That you still are a mother of a minor. Yes, I do. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. This Dr. Phil is going to go in here. I can yep. just feel it. He's, he's asking the good questions first. He's like, hey, uh, you realize you're f***ing stupid or something? Drop the hammer on him, Dr. Phil, okay? Just drop it. And you understand that your fitness as a mother is still evaluated by Child Protective Services or Department of Child and Family Services, whatever yes. they call it in your particular county. Yes. And they look at 10 different categories to determine your fitness as a parent okay i called it i called it each well i've been getting on her whole time you know what i'm saying i i knew that from the trip i wasn't even looking at this girl this girl is just ignorant i understand oh she's just bad she needs a whooping and i'm looking at the mom and saying hey can you do something when are you gonna whoop her she needs a whooping now you know what i'm saying and, oh, i don't believe you whooping my kids okay don't whoop her then but she still got a cell phone. She still got shoes. She'd be walking to school in a garbage bag. You don't got to whoop them to get your point across. Trust me. Trust me. Dr. Phil, get her. He just brought up the entire list of what it means to be a decent parent, dude. Come on, man. You didn't have to do her like that immediately, dude. He's just going straight into it. He's like, all right, here's what you need to do as a parent. Here's what you're not doing. <laughs> gotta love my man, Dr. Phil, all right? Uh, number one, do you provide a safe, stable, and secure environment? Yes. Uh, number two, do you maintain loving, stable, consistent, nurturing relationship with the child? Yes. Yes. I this do. is the one you slap, sit on, pull hair. Uh, do you provide for the financial support of the child? Yes. The ability to identify and prioritize her needs ahead of your own. Yes. Yes. Ability to empathize with and meet the child's needs. Ability to yes. regulate impulses and emotions. Yes. Nope. Absolutely not. <laughs> Dude, if she says yes on this, I, nah, 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 nah. I'm working on that. Yeah, that's right. Okay, that's what all right. Assist the child in developing and maintaining appropriate relationships. Uh, you want to no. compare me to any other 16 year old? Go ahead, you know? Let me, let me just Oh, she's 16? Bro, that is young for to be doing all that type of stuff, dude. Getting charges and going against your parents to fly across the country. That is young. I wonder who influenced this girl to make all these decisions, dude. I don't know. Best act I can for, for all you. Like, because I'm not perfect and I don't think any one of you in this audience can say that you are perfect in any sort of way. <laughs> just that awkward. I was better than you, though. Oh, oh, oh my stomach. Mm, I, I went perfect, but I know for darn sure I'm better than you. Come on now, bro. Now, no, forget that, bro. Forget this. Dude, she said here talking about, oh, everyone and you aren't perfect. We aren't out here on the streets. We, 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 we ain't got no records. Our records are clean. I ain't never worn no echo monitor. I ain't never been to jail. I ain't never been in handcuffs. I ain't never did none of that, bro. Knock on wood. But I don't need that luck. 
I'm not gonna be in there because by everything, by all means po possible, I'm not gonna do it. Meanwhile, you 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 making it a point to get in them. Talking about, oh, I'm gonna be defiant. Let's go to New York. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You ain't got no money. How you go to New York? Awkward smile from the audience member on camera. Yeah, no, duh, nobody's perfect, dude. That's obvious, but you're clearly the troubled one. You're not gonna use the I'm not perfect excuse to get away with everything you're doing, you know? Number 10, exercise appropriate judgment regarding the- He just ignored her? I don't want to have to restrain my child, but when she's punching me in the face <clears throat> and, and hurting me and hitting me, I will beat the goofy out of her. I restrain her so she doesn't beat me up. Do you see me hitting her right now? <laughs> no, duh. You're on the Dr. Phil show. Of course you're not going to go up and beat her up. Bro, this girl is stupid. She I, don't. I don't believe this girl probably beats up her mom, dude. I wouldn't even be surprised. If she's saying it's true, you know, you have every reason to believe the mom here. She's the one who called in. Uh, Maybe, uh, who knows though? I don't know. Oh, oh come give me. No. I'm not in her face, spitting in her face, throwing at her. What? How is this, any of this relevant? What is this relevant to? You've done it before. Just because you're not doing it right now don't mean nothing. Yo, I don't like her. Do y'all? No, I, no, I don't know. Do y'all like her? No. Because I don't like, I, am I, I'm trying to figure out if I'm confusing on something. She is ignorant. Talking about, ooh, she, she got to be doing this on purpose. She got to be doing this on purpose, bro. I'm telling you, take her in that back room and just for a good one minute, just, whoosh, 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 just straight belt, bro. Just straight belt to booty, bro. I promise you, she ain't never going to be the same. She ain't never going to be the same. She's going to be, oh, yes, mother. Oh, would you like me to cook? Yes, yes. Yeah, go cook me some food. Acting like some hard ass. Like, yeah, my mom and I have gotten into fish fights. She just cursed? Yes, honestly, like. Maybe like 75% of the time, like I throw first. God, bro. Oh, that is just, yeah. If anybody's watching this who fights their parents, bro, just no, no. They're trying to help you, bro. I remember I used to like be in a lot of arguments with my parents as a kid. I was such a troubled child. I wasn't that bad, but I was at the bad. point where I was like getting like, I'll be yelling at my parents and stuff like that because I was an idiot. Parents are always the ones that are trying to help you, you know? And I've definitely learned a lot from my parents. I guess the lesson that we can all learn from this video is to, uh, yeah, don't beat up your parents. Kind of like, and uh, yeah, my album's gonna be dropping tonight, fellas. That's so it? if you guys want to check that out, the link will be in the description. Put a lot of time on this. I'm not trying to come off as like that YouTube rapper artist or whatever. I don't even rap. It's mostly alternative, you know, R&B trap. I produced just right. about. Every I don't think he's talking about what we talking about anymore. He's a rapper. All right, y'all got it. But anyway, back to this Dr. Phil situation. The mom is stupid. I'm not gonna lie. The mom is stupid, and the daughter is stupid. Like there ain't no way. Your daughter sitting here beating you up, and you ain't Googled boarding school one time. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I don't care if you don't want to do that. Hey, it's got to be done. She needs some type of discipline. She needs somebody that she can't yell at. She needs something. Because the path she moving right now, she ain't going to go, 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 go. <laughs> she ain't going to go nowhere. She ain't got no discipline. She ain't organized. She think that the uh, law don't apply to her. She thinks she's just uh, high and mighty. No. Who are you? Who are you? Nobody. And who took her to New York? How did she pay for that? She don't got no job. She don't do nothing but go to school. Don't even go to school. She don't be nothing but come and go outside and come home. And to my house that I pay the bills at. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't know. I can't get down with that, bro. What y'all think, man? Like, do let me know in the comments. Ooh, have y'all ever yelled at y'all parents? Do y'all yell at y'all parents? Like, do y'all act like this? Have you ever been to jail? Let me know something in the comments, bro. So y'all know what to do. If y'all enjoyed the video, too, make sure to subscribe. We on the way to 10,000 and hit that like button because guess what? <gasps> this kid needs a whooping. Bad. We gone.